This is going to be the demo for the bacon that you'll put into your turkey club. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn your stove top onto medium heat, medium to high heat. If it goes too high, the bacon will burn too quickly. So what you're going to do once your oven, your pan has heated up thoroughly, you're going to stick your bacon onto the pan and you'll hear it sizzle. You even turn it down just a little bit. So each sandwich is going to have two pieces of bacon. You can just put all yours on at once. And you can see that the bacon is going to start to shrink up as it's cooking. That's fine. When one of the sides is thoroughly cooked, you're going to turn it over and cook the other one. Something really important when you're handling the bacon or any raw meat, my hands have raw bacon all over it. I'm going to need to wash my pan before I use it for the turkey club later, and I'm also going to need to wash my hands before I handle any of the other turkey club things. That's cross-contamination if I don't do that, and you could get really sick from that. Okay, so I'm going to turn my bacon over. I could have even let that on just a little bit longer, but just so you see, it's going to, you're going to want it to be just a little bit darker than that. My bacon's almost done now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the heat. And while it was baking, I grabbed some paper towels, and I'm going to transfer that bacon onto the paper towels because you can see all the grease from the bacon fat is in here, and we don't want to eat that on our turkey club. It'll make us soggy. So I'm going to transfer my bacon onto the paper towels. And I'm just going to make sure that all that grease is off. When you're cleaning your pan, it's really important to remember not to pour the grease down the drain because it's really bad for the pipes. What you're going to do is you're going to throw it away. When you've done your bacon and you've washed your hands to make sure that there's no cross-contamination, you can now work on the sun-dried tomato mayonnaise. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take your sun-dried tomatoes, which are going to be in oil, and you're going to pat them dry to make sure that all of that oil is out of there. I've already finely chopped some of the sun-dried tomato over here so you can see what it looks like, supposed to look like when it's done. So now I'm just going to go back and forth. And if you have a dull knife, it might take a little bit longer to break apart until it's minced. After you've minced your sun-dried tomatoes, you're going to add them into a bowl. And you're also going to put your mayonnaise in there as well. You're going to take a spoon and make sure that it's thoroughly mixed. And it should look like this when you're done. After you have your sun-dried tomato, you're going to butter one side of each piece of your bread. This side is going to be the side that goes onto the pan. That'll make it nice and crispy. And you're going to want to make sure you do that to both pieces of bread just on one side. Once you have those pieces of bread buttered, you're just going to flip them over and then you're going to start adding your ingredients. The first thing I'm going to add is the sun-dried tomato mayonnaise. And I'm just going to spread that lightly on each side. Now I can start adding the other ingredients, so I'm going to add my bacon first. And there's no specific order this needs to go in, you can add it in any way you want. I'm going to add some spinach. You may also have arugula, it just depends on what your teacher has for you. I'm going to add some turkey. And last but not least, I'm going to add some cheese. And you should have slices, pre-made slices of cheese already for you. Okay. I'm going to add the other half of that bread on top, and then I'm going to take this over to the stove and make it nice and crispy. After you have your sandwich all put together, you're going to add it onto your stove. 
So I have a pan on here and it's already been heating on medium heat for a little while, so I'm just going to add that on here. And I'm going to let the bottom half get a little bit brown. And then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing to the other half. If you're not using the stove for your turkey club, you're going to be using a panini press. And all you're going to do is you're going to take your sandwich and you're going to put it on the panini press and close the lid and then it'll crisp both sides at the same time. After one of your sides has cooked perfectly, you can see it's nice and brown, not too burnt, not too undercooked. You're going to flip it over and let that sit for a while until it's the same as this side and then you're, you'll be done. Enjoy!